how's it going ladies and gentlemen welcome back to seven x channel today we're building the high grade universal century the jester and for me this suit is one of the like the mass production unit uh, in the uh, air force that I actually like like I really like the design for the jester and today I got it if you watch my unboxing video you should know how did I got it and you know I'm about to start building it and you know just for the unboxing now and I got two part of the stickers here we got a marking sticker and a normal sticker and you know we got one clear part for the head and the rest of it is just torso and arms part next this one already ripped up I don't know why it's already broken but that's okay we got the feet part and a couple of shoulder part and a another feet part. Next, what we got was the we got the hand option here. We got the feet part, the guns, and we also got the shield and the waist. Next, we got beam saber effect part and polycaps and the last and then other handset and we got this twenty sixteen. Gundam Expo ticket that useless for me. <laughs> that just useless for me. It's 2018 now, <laughs> and you know we got a instruction book, Jester, and we got all the movement, action, detail, and introduction, assemble guide. You know, but okay. Well, I'm just gonna start building it. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jester review from the high grade and 
you know, this is the finishing product. Nothing really special. So we got some like detail stickers here, and let me just turn around and let you see it. Nothing really special, right? So, well, this one, this kit is from uh, 2011, which is a pretty old kit for now since it's 2018. Now, this seven is this kit is seven years old. Yes, and you know, still have a good quality. It's not like really bad or anything. At least it's not like the e EXS Gundam that I built a couple weeks ago. That one is horribly bad. Yes, that one is horribly bad. And you know, now I'm just going to talk about something. So, first, we got this really signature. Let me zoom in to let you see it. First, we got the really signature, the, the, the detail marker at the shoulder, the chest, shoulder, and shield, and the waist. We got some signature marking and the back as well. The back just read RGM96X, the jester number. And this suit uses a couple stickers. It uses a sticker at the waist, a sticker at the forehead, sticker at the forehead, stickers at the back of the head, and stickers on the guns. Yes, the stickers on the guns. So you know now I'm gonna start talking about the movement. So as you can as you can see, it's not really like a really back kit. So a so legs can go up pretty much pretty high, and for and feet can be movable as well. Uh, slightly twistable feet, uh, shield movable, uh, hands movable, hands are very movable, uh, shoulder movable, arms bendable. As you can see a beam saber here. And shoulder movable, arms not a problem. Head movable, really smooth moving though. Actually, really smooth moving. It's good for posing. And uh, waist can be do a slightly twist to the front and back, and a slightly twist to the side. Uh, by the way, the waist are pretty fragile, fragile, and it might break. So please be careful when you're uh, making poses and at the side of the grenade launcher you can be pulled out but it's just really hard to pull out at the side so I'm not doing it because I almost break it when I was trying to do it before. Okay so enough talking so let's talk about so the main color of the shoot is um, is a uh, navy uh, it's like gray and a darker gray not a, it gives a feeling of a Gives a feeling of special as well. So for the models, so at the right hand, at the back, we can see it, we got a beam saber and a la grenade launcher. I don't, I'm not sure about this. Forget about. I forgot when I was watching it. And you know, for the beam saber, we got a evac part for the beam sabers. But the beam saber is pretty hard to take it off. So be, please be careful when you're taking it off. And because it's pretty tight to take it off. So now I snap it. Oh. So now I can just first then make maybe some pose give you I'm gonna make a pose first. So you know, it's really simple. You know, you take the head and then you just put on the evac part. It's not really hard to do it and the there's a lot of hands option though. We got this weapon holding, uh, gun holding hands already. And we also got a fist hand. Oh wait, this is the weapon holding hand. This is the uh, beam saber holding hand. So if I just put it on. Oh wait, that's the wrong side. That one is the right side. So you know, beam saber can easily put it on. So just put it on, just put in it like this, beam saber. And nothing really said it's different. And we also have a open hand option that you can put on the suit. Open hand option. Not, nothing really special about it. At the back, at the back, the shield can be either come at the front or stored at the back. The back, you will need this piece to put on it to just to move the shield at the back. This is not a uh, master grade, so you don't have the, so you don't have the joint to make it make the shield ex uh, extendable. So, well, if you want it extendable, buy a master grade. And we also have, we also need to remove this little piece here at the backpack in order to put in the shield. You know the shield is it's not handheld, so um, you it only stores in the backpack. So for the uh, extra coloring for me, uh, the only thing that you need to color is the, the bottom of the legs. But you know, 
I'm not that guy the perfect so I don't want to paint at the bottom of the shield and this one the shield uh, you need to paint white on the missiles so you know that's just basically how it goes and you know I'm gonna take off this thing first and we also the backpack is can be removable the backpack can be removable just give me a second I also the thruster are removable as well so the backpack are removable you can put on for the setting of the instruction um, okay why does it focus so for the back so for the setting in the instruction book you can put on a strike dragon's backpack or a dragon air course type uh, the air course type Jagan's uh, backpack. So, well, well, I don't have those two suits, so I can't really show you that. I don't really, I don't have those two kits, so you know, sorry about that. I'm not rich, and you know, for now you can just put on the backpack like this. And for me, it's for like a seven-year-old kid, uh, it's pretty good though. It's good quality. It's just, um, just, uh, it's just uh, when you're sanding it, it's a bit hard to just just to sand it perfect like you know that still an old technology so it doesn't sand well so why there's so down so much dust down there it's weird and um well for me giving some opinion this kid is a really good kid decent kid and for me should you buy or not for me this is honestly the only out gm series that i like other than gym sniper like this one just looks perfect right man it's look cool it's lo it looks way cooler that the noble gym so i would definitely recommend you recommend recommend you to buy it and you know this, this kit is really good and i have a base job for it wait for my next video and this is the end of the review today hope you guys like it and i would definitely uh upload the base job review as soon as possible and i will see you next time goodbye